Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. Today our topic is cognizable and non-cognizable offense, which is a very important topic. Offense. It will not be out of place to first describe what is an offense or offense. It is very simple. The word offense is used in British English and the word offense is used in American uh, English, but the meaning is the same. which means is the commission of uh, wrongdoings that is it could be a violation of civil or criminal law so what is an offense or crime it needs some elaboration which is is as under the word offense is derived from the word offender which means any person who is not acting according to law for example if a driver is driving 25 miles per hour in a 20 miles per hour area is not committing any crime but committing a, an offense which is punishable only by fines with points on the license etc an offense is a breach of law or regulation and all crimes could be considered as offenses but not all offenses could be considered as crimes in short if any person ends up with a fine in a court he is alleged to have committed an offense. Crime. It means an act or omission punishable by law. The word crime is used for more serious offenses, for example, murder, theft, etc., or crimes. There are three main elements of a crime mens rea and intention, ulterior motives, the reason, and actus rea, the criminal act. So the combination of all these three is forming the commission of a crime. But our topic of discussion is cognizable and non-cognizable offenses. So let's see what cognizable and non-cognizable offenses are. Cognizable offenses. It means those offenses wherein the police officer has been authorized to arrest any person without the need of a warrant. Under these offenses, the police officer has the authority to start investigation without the permission of the court. Section 4 F CRPC 1898. Section 54 of Criminal Procedure Code 1898 of Pakistan further says about the arrest of the persons in cognizable offenses or cases. It says a police officer may arrest without a warrant. Number one, any person who has any sort of concern or there is any reasonable complaint or any credible information or any reasonable suspicion of his involvement in the commission of a cognizable offense. Number two, any person who is in possession of an illegal object or any substance without any lawful excuse which can be used in any incriminating act or omission, the burden of proving of such thing shall lie on that person. Number three, any proclaimed offender, an accused person who is not attending the court and a decision has been made against him in a criminal case, either under CRPC or by order of the provincial government. Number four, any person who is in possession of a stolen property or anything which has any relation with the commission of any offense. Number five, any person who obstructs a police officer while in the execution of his duty or who has escaped or attempt to escape from lawful custody. Num number six, any person who run away from the armed forces of Pakistan. Number seven, any person who has committed an offense outside of Pakistan, which is considered an offense if committed in Pakistan and punishable in Pakistan or any of the above men situation mentioned in, in number one. Number eight, any released convict committing a breach of any rule made under section 565 subsection 3 of CRPC. Number nine, any person for whose arrest a request has been received from another police officer provided that the request clearly specifies the person to be arrested, the offense or any other reason for the arrest in the is to be made. Examples of cognizable offenses. The following are the main cognizable offenses murder, attempt to murder, writing, theft, etc. Non cognizable offenses. It means those offenses wherein the police officer has not been authorized to arrest any person without a warrant of arrest of a competent court. Under these offenses, the police officer has no authority to start investigation without the permission of a court. Section 4N 
CRPC. The non-cognizable offenses are not very serious in, na in nature. Under these offenses, a complaint is lodged to a magistrate of the area who, after a proper examination of the complaint, issues an order to the in charge of the police station of the area to initiate in an investigation. After a proper investigation of the case, the police officer has to file a charge sheet, which is called a chalan. At the court, and after the completion of the trial, if the accused is found guilty, the court will issue a warrant for the arrest of the accused. Examples of non-cognizable offenses. The main examples of non-cognizable offenses are negligence, tort, contributory negligence, forgery, cheating, defamation, public nuisance, etc. How would you recognize cognizable and non-cognizable offenses? For this purpose, you have to go to the end of the Criminal Procedure Code of Pakistan, wherein there are schedules. Number two, which refer clarify the cognizable and non-cognizable offenses. That is your task to find out. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to share, subscribe and like this video. Many thanks.